Hey friends, welcome back to All Alone Law. This is a quick O B G Y N, and today I'm gonna talk about functional cisp. Functional cisp. So, what are the functional sets? Says, okay. So before this, in USML examination, they will give you a, a young lady or a 22 year old or a 23 year old woman who comes uh, for an annual examination. Okay, and on examination on the ultrasound, you find what you call five centimeter or six centimeter or seven centimeter round fluid filled simple oranges without septation and the calcification without septation and the calcification so and they will ask you the diagnosis rarely but they will ask you the management that's really very important okay so briefly i'm going to tell you what the functional cyst is the functional cyst remember this is the most common cause of simple cyst mass in a reproductive age years okay in the reproductive age it's the most common cause for cyst okay the two types one is a luteal it can be luteal another one is a follicular corpus luteal or follicular so during the reproductive years the ovaries you know very well they are very functional active right so the producing what you call a follicle in the first half of the cycle and the corpus luteum after ovulation in the second half right of the menstrual cycle so either of these structures the follicle or the luteum the corpus luteum can be filled fluid filled and enlarged so that results in the functional cyst right so luteal is egg is not egg is released whereas follicular egg not re, egg is released at so these are two types luteal and the follicular but these are not really very important for your usml examination so let's proceed and before that I would like to tell you whenever the reproductive age girl comes to you with this this sign and symptoms of any enlargement or any reproductive age group presents with this enlargement of pelvic mass with a pelvic mass the first next best step would be the what you call uh, whether she is a pregnant or not you have to check that that's really very important and that we do with the beta hcg okay human chorionic gonadotropin test okay if it's negative then it's ruled out that she's not a pregnant okay right right and you have to do the ultrasound ultrasound that's a sonogram because you have to look whether it's a simple cis or a complex one okay the kind they can be a complex mass also like uh, the most common is the adnexal mass in a young woman is dermoid cyst okay sorry this is a dermoid cyst, remember, dermoid. Dermoid cyst, okay, or benign cystic teratoma, okay. Remember, and the other can be like endometrioma, tubo ovarian abscess, ovarian cancers can be there. So you have to rule it, that's why you have to do what you call, um, sorry, sonogram, okay. So let's move on to what you call, uh, the management is really very important for USML examination. How do you manage that? Okay, management. First is observation. What we do is that if the sonogram shows a simple cyst, the patient should be advised that it is probably benign and be careful for and and but careful and follow up. Okay. So if it's a benign, it's a simple cyst. Remember here the size is really very important. We're gonna talk about the follow-up. If the simple cyst, if the simple cyst, okay, um, no septation, no calcification, simple cyst, then uh, what you have to advise to the patient is follow up after six to eight weeks because after six to eight weeks it usually disappears. Okay, it disappears. Okay. During this period of what you call, um, uh, if uh, during this period of a follow up, you should advise the patient whether 
uh, is there any onset of pain okay because uh, if there's onset of any severe kind of pain uh, which may be indicative of uh, what you call a torsion of uh, adnexinal cyst okay that's really very important torsion is really very important because it leads to ischemia necrosis gangrenous infection can spread okay that's fine uh, you have to advise to the patient that if she develops pain anywhere during this period of follow-up then contact physician or gynecologist immediately okay very important right the other thing is the oral contraceptive medication can be used to help prevent further functional cyst forming okay oral contraceptive pills can be given to prevent further okay but usually you should follow up in six to eight weeks will be better now let's talk about the surgery there's a laparoscopy So laparoscopy, if the cyst is simple in appearance, surgical evaluation should be performed if the cyst is, the size is really very important, 7 cm, or she should have been on a prior steroid contraception, because if she has been on a prior uh, steroid contraception, this steroid contraception, we know very well, they reduce the size, and even after the contraception, the, there is a simple cyst, means we have to intervene, okay? Remember the important thing is the physiological cyst does not does not grow longer than seven centimeter. They usually less than seven centimeter, okay? Right? Right, that's it. So if it's a more than seven centimeter, then you should advise for a laparoscopy, okay? And remember the functional cyst should not form if the patient has been on oral contraceptive for at least two months. You know very well because the gonadotropins should should have been suppressed, right? So that's why. So this is all about the overall function of vertical management of uh, uh, folly, uh, functional cyst. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.